I don't know what I got, but I'll be sure to put it up here. But whatever I got should be okay. But if it's not, sorry. But if it's really good, you're welcome. But if it's in, the, in between, we're gonna try to go even better today. So let's get, first game up is Titans v Jaguars. And a lot of big things happened. Jaguars lost by going for two. My opinion wasn't worth it. A lot of other opinions might say it was, but I think they should have just settled, took it to overtime. But their quarterback is iffy and Tennessee has been on a huge up and I think they're gonna win. With Marcus Mariota at the helm, they should be able to get the dub. Next game up is Cowboys v Miami and Cowboys. Done, easy, set in stone. They're going to win, no doubt about it. Not gonna waste any more time. Next game up is Bengals v Bills. Now, this is a crazy game, but the Bills are actually favorites in this one. And for good reason, they are on a two game win streak. But you have to remember, it's first the Jets and the Giants, who, in my memory, did go 0 2 both of them and they're speculated to be some of the worst teams in the league and for a good reason so i'm gonna have to go with the bills here i think they're gonna be able to win and hopefully they do next game up is lions v eagles and it's gonna be a slug match but but i believe that carson wentz will be able to pull it out here and also did you guys see that darius slay interception to end the game because i sure did and it was kind of cool but it kind of contradicted what I said last time. Let's give up the Jets be Patriots. Patriots win hands down. There's no way the Jets wins here. And it's going to be a miracle, just like in Miami last year, if they do. Next game up is Falcons v. Colts. And it's going to be a crazy game down there, but I'm going to have to go Falcons with Julio Jones tearing it up last time. And also Calvin Ridley tearing it up as well. So I'm going to have to go with the Falcons here over the Colts. Next game up is Raiders v. Vikings. And I'm going to have to go Vikings here. But Oakland just doesn't have anybody that should and could be able to overpower the Minnesota Vikings on offense or defense. Next game up is Ravens v. Chiefs, and I really want to watch this game, but there's no way I'm going to be able to watch it. But if you can, watch it. It's going to be a showdown. These teams have been going off and scoring 40-plus points in both of their games, I believe. And they should be able to do it once again in this game. And I was really in between who I should pick, but I think the Chiefs are more complete, and I think they should be able to win. Next game up is Broncos v. Packers, and the Packers are going to be able to pull this one out. They are on a huge upslide, and I didn't know that they were even going to win versus the Bears, and they did by surprising them out, and they are really getting their momentum going, and Aaron Rodgers is playing better than ever, so I believe they're going to be able to beat the Broncos. Next game up is Panthers v. Cardinals, and this is going to be a shootout. Kyle Murray is leading his team to a lot of yards and close games that shouldn't even be close. But I don't think they're going to be able to overtake the Panthers here, and I think Cam Newton will be able to lead his team to another W, if he even won one. Keep up with Giants v. Bucks, and it's going to be a slug match. It's going to be one of those ugly Giants games once again, but I think the Giants are going to be able to win with their new starter, Jones. And best of luck to him, and hopefully he leads his team to a lot of more wins. Keep up with Saints v. Seahawks. Oof, tongue twister there. Uh, but the Saints are actually underdogs right now, and if you don't know, this is what happened. So, Aaron Donald comes in, hits his arm, and, or finger, hits his finger, and he's out. And he's out for this game as well, and I don't think Teddy Bridgewater, even though he has so many weapons, is going to be able to beat that Seahawks team with all the momentum that they have. Next game up is Texans v. Chargers, and it's going to be fun. To watch that game but i'm gonna have to go with texans because deshaun watson is being the leader that everybody thought he would be and i really do think that he can overcome that chargers team just because they're being very lackluster right now and they're losing games that i didn't think they were going to lose and tying games that i didn't think they were going to tie let's go up to steelers v 49ers and oh my gosh please somebody help me somebody i got all the merch right here help me what is going on? We're 0-2. Oh, and, two. Oh, and freaking 2 I don't know what to say. I'm just really sad right now. My Steelers have never went like this, at least that I've remembered, other than when we went to the Super Bowl versus the Seahawks with Jerome Bellis. I don't know, but we are really on a down slope, and 49ers are on an up slope. Now, it's probably going to be something like with Tampa v. Steelers. I hopped on the Tampa train, and then... 
Pittsburgh Steelers finally got their momentum going. But I'm going to have to go 49 this year. Their defense is really well built in the front seven. And the Steelers are just really weak right now. Without Connor, if he's back, I don't know. And without Ben, the starter quarterback for so many years. So I'm going to have to go with 49 this year, even though it hurts. So bad. We're going to have final two games, guys. It's going to be Rams v. Cleveland. And Rams should be easily beating them. And if they don't, I don't know what's going on. Jared Goff, Cooper Cup, Brandon Cooks. Not even gonna say anything else but Aaron Donald. But they just, just they have so much star power. They should be able to blow people out. They didn't do as well than I thought they were gonna do, but still they should be able to beat them. Last game and I love it. It's gonna be a slug fest. And I love that kick that that guy made. Um kicking that all the way down there and getting it in the post and not hitting them for once. Yes, not hitting the post. Sounds like music to Bears fans ears and he hit a 56 yarder I believe so it was even sweeter and just because of the irony that that's what lost them in the playoffs and this is what won them the game now so it's Chicago v Redskins and the Redskins are some of the worst teams in the league but the Redskins shouldn't be able to do anything against that Bears defense and all the Bears offense needs to do is short little passes and feed the ball to Tariq Cohen so they should be able to win so, without further ado, like the video if you want to, subscribe if you really want to, and hit that little bell. Now, I did juke you guys out with that pollution trip, so, didn't give you two at the same time. Got it! Let's go! Oop, peace out, money fam. I forgot it.